Thank you for watching this today as hopefully you're doing this by choice and not just some random scrolling through YouTube, but I know how that goes. I get caught into Instagram and YouTube and just start scrolling and looking at little snippets, kind of, if you want to say, kind of mindlessly for entertainment. But today, hopefully, we'll find a little bit more out about doing nothing in a economy that wants our attention. Ever since I was a child, I enjoyed reading. And so, um, as a pastor, I also had plenty of books and going through school, had to do a lot of reading. But then I shifted as well to listening to podcasts and to other things. But I'm back to reading more again in a book that I'm going to show you, which is the inspiration for this video, uh, came from the library. I don't need to be buying books, even though I have some on this device. I think it's good to use the public institutions and to support the local libraries. A number of the podcasts and the YouTube videos that I watch always ask for a five-star rating or to hit the like button or to hit the subscribe button. And I understand all of that, but what's the purpose? The purpose is to get on the top of a list so when you're trying to do some searching for different things, our attention will go to those that are on the top of the list, whether we use Bing or Google or any of those. It's an attention economy, constantly trying to grab our attention to get us to see things or do things, whether we want to do them or see them or not. Because if they're at the top, they must be important. Another aspect of that comes from the local television news went off and it says, breaking news. I don't know. It's news. I don't know what's so breaking about it, but the, the verbiage is such that it captures our attention. Again, if, if it's important enough and we know enough and we have to be on the cutting edge of knowing everything, ratings go up and we're kind of the victims of our own desires to know something. You're gonna get 15 seconds of me not talking. So was it silent? You didn't hear voices, but I imagine you heard the water going down the Buffalo River. The author of the book about doing nothing is talking about taking time to listen, to reflect, to not be so caught up in getting attention, whether we seek it or whether we get it, by scrolling through Instagram, looking at YouTube, hitting like buttons, because that's not doing nothing. Nothing is taking time to reflect, to appreciate, and to grasp the world around us. That's part of why I like reading, because reading isn't somebody's voice interpreting what is said. It's the images within myself and my own lived experience which help inform and draw pictures of what I'm reading. Jenny O'Dell's book is not a quick read, nor is it necessarily a good book to read in the bathroom. But I think it's worth the time to look at it, to think about it, and to see how we could be better at doing nothing because taking time enhances our lives and our understanding. Just to leave you with this little point, I firmly believe that we still as individuals have power. 
what I choose to do, is it going to save the world? No. Is it going to make climate change go away? No. But I do things not to capture attention, but to do things that I believe are consistent with my way of looking at the world and life and how I interact with it. Once again, I deeply and sincerely appreciate that you've given some of your time to listen and to watch.